Rocklear Dust Right Lathe Dust Collection System. This thing really sucks. Or does it? All that and more coming up. Since I had several turning projects scheduled, I decided to buy this lathe dust collection system from Rocklear. They had it on sale, so I didn't have to pay full price. As with a lot of tools, this lathe dust collection system came unassembled. I laid all the parts out on my outfeed table. Well, at least one part did come with the knob already assembled, but everything else had to be assembled. This is the assembly of the rod that holds the dust collector that goes on the lathe to collect the dust. As shown here, it's rather simple. Everything just slides onto the rod according to the directions. These little washers are made out of rubber or soft plastic. The last one is sort of like a lock washer and it works in conjunction with this knob to tighten or loosen the device on the rod. The next major part is the part that holds the dust collector onto the ways of the lathe. This bolt connects to a rod that's perpendicular to this piece that fits on the ways of the lathe. As shown here, the bolt just fits right into the end of the rod. But I found out as time went on that this bolt became more and more difficult to screw in to the end of that rod. I had to go over to my mechanic's tool chest and get out one of my Phillips screwdrivers. Even with the correct size of Phillips screwdrivers, it was quite a task to get the bolt into the rest of that rod. It didn't want to go. Part of the problem was at the very end there was some thread lock. While this thread lock made it very difficult to screw in the bolt, this connection became very sturdy and somewhat permanent. I left out part of the struggle that I had here on the video. I didn't think you needed to see it, but I finally was able to get the bolt in and tight. Getting that bolt in tight is part of the stability of this device. The next part of the assembly was the actual dust collection. The directions were kind of sketchy here and I wasn't exactly sure how to do it, so I played around with it a little while and then I finally went back and looked at the directions. I went back over to my mechanics toolbox and brought back a flat blade screwdriver for this band clamp. I don't know about you but sometimes I find these band clamps are tough to work with. It takes a lot of turns of the screwdriver to get them to do what I want them to do. The band clamp is supposed to go through holes in these brackets. It will then be able to hold the hose up behind the lathe. You'll see how that works out later in the video. Of course, now I'm back to the screwdriver to tighten that up, and there's a lot to tighten. This is where I should have turned to my electric screwdriver and didn't think about it as I was assembling this device. This is the process for attaching the whole device to the ways of the lathe. This small piece goes under the ways of the lathe and then a bolt goes in from the top to go into those threads and hold it onto the lathe. Unfortunately, as shown here, it's a little more difficult to do on my lathe because the motor is down there below the ways and gets in the way. I was able to get it attached on the second try.
As I tightened up the knob, you'll find out that I wasn't exactly sure where it should go on the ways of the lathe. And as you'll notice later, I did find a different way to position it as I worked along through the process. The next step is to slide the dust collector onto this rod and position it to where it would be useful for collecting dust on the lathe. Here again, the final position of this piece will change as I work through the process. The next step involves hooking the dust collection hose to the dust collector and through that band clamp that's in the back. This is another step that didn't go real well at first. I kept working with it until I got it on. Now I'm going to be bending that tube to go through the band clamp that's on the back of this whole device. In case you're wondering, I did take care of this right angle bend in the tube later on. And now, of course, that band clamp that I totally opened up to its full size has to be clamped down onto that tube. And here again, I should have used my electric screwdriver. And for the sake of time, I've taken out a lot of the time that I spent turning that screwdriver. Once everything was all set and tightened up, I moved the device over closer to the chuck and moved my banjo into place. The first project that I had after I installed the device was a blank of wood that I got from frogblanks.com. This was my first attempt at a coffee scoop handle and due to some problems with my cameras, I was unable to make a video of this turning. I did get enough video as shown here to see how well this dust collector collected the chips as I turned this piece on the lathe. Again, to save time, I'm not going to show the total turning of this piece, but I did manage to get this piece so it was perfectly round. I also left the dust collection on while I turned this end down for a ferrule that had to fit on it. As I was turning, I noticed that most of the chips came flying off the lathe and not in the dust collector. This was confirmed when I took off the top of my Oneida dust deputy and found very few chips from the lathe at the bottom. As shown here, a lot of the chips ended up on the table in front of the lathe and on the ways of the lathe. My conclusion from this part of my test is that this dust collector does not do a very good job of collecting chips coming off the lathe. I did find, however, that this device does do an excellent job of collecting the sanding dust coming off the piece on the lathe. If you look closely, you can see the stream of dust coming off the Aberdeen mesh and into the dust collector as I move it across the piece. Most of the dust went into the dust collector. So if you're looking for a device that will collect sanding dust coming off of small or short spindles on your lathe, this Rockler dust collector does actually do that and it does it well. When I turned the long handle for my shoehorn and got to the sanding stage, I didn't even try to use the dust collector on that. But in the future, I may try to do it on something long like this. I could move the dust collector back and forth on the ways of the lathe and sand in sections. That would certainly be better than allowing all this sanding dust to settle on the ways of the lathe and also all over the table. More importantly, it would keep all the sanding dust out of the air. One place that this dust collector didn't work and probably wouldn't work in the future is when I turned this piece for the trophy I'm making. The same would be true of turning bowls and sanding them on the lathe. For sanding items like that on the lathe, I found these dust collectors on Amazon. I think I'm going to look into at least one of them. I like the one in the middle. I think I may try one in the future. I also found this Rikon lathe dust collector. It would be useful for those of you that wanted a dedicated dust collector just for your lathe. Where the Rockler lathe dust collection system came in very handy is when I turned 15 pizza cutter handles that I gave out for Christmas presents one year. 
in my opinion, this project alone paid for the cost of this device on my lathe. I'm sure it will come in handy for future projects as well. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up down below. Ask any questions, make comments. Please subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know that we have videos coming. And I thank you all very much for watching.